Son and Emperor by Cindy Christmas. Read by Cindy Christmas. Many years ago in Sweden, Europe, lived Emperor who was a strong wolf and the leader of his pack. No other wolf dared to battle him because they would most likely lose. One morning, while Emperor was traveling alone, he noticed something suspicious moving in the bushes. Emperor creeps up towards the bushes and saw a bear cub who jumps on him in a playful manner. Hello, I'm Zahn, and you are? Asked the bear cub. About to eat you. Where are your parents? Emperor asked aggressively. I don't know. They ran off and I couldn't keep up. How long did they run off? I'm not sure. I've been here for a while. That means they're looking for you, said Emperor as he ran off. Wait! Please don't leave me all alone. I'm scared, cried the cub. Your parents will be back for you. I'm sure of that. Can you stay with me until they come back, please? Of course not. Me and your parents don't get along very well. Besides, you're a bear. Emperor paused and sighs. No, you're not. You're just a cub. I'll take you back to your family, but in the meantime, I need to eat. We can eat grass or berries, Don said, smiling. I'm a carnivore. Grass isn't for me, but I may eat a few berries before I eat you. You're funny, said Don, as his heart pounds out of his chest in fear. No, I'm not joking. If I'm not mistaken, your ancestors ate a few of my ancestors, so maybe I should return the favor by eating you. I thought you said you would take me back to my parents. Emperor smirked and replied, I lied. Dawn took off running as fast as he could with Emperor right behind him. Emperor yelled, it makes no sense running from me, because you can't outrun me. If I can't outrun you, why haven't you caught me yet? Because I like to play with my food before I eat it. As Dawn was out of breath, he ran into a lion. Wow, what do we have here? Asked Rebel, the lion. Emperor responds viciously. It's a cub, and he is mine. My, 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 you are so angry. I am scared. Be smart and walk away, because in any battle with me, you would lose. Is that a challenge? Because the only thing you can defeat me in is running. Other than that, I would shred you into pieces. The cub hid behind a tree as Rebel the Lion and Emperor the Wolf fought. The young lion was strong, but he was no match for Emperor, who was bigger and stronger. Emperor had a few bruises, but Rebel the Lion was lunch. Thanks for protecting me, said Don. You are welcome. Let's rest, and when we wake, I will take you to your parents. As the two pals were taking a nap, a python was lurking close by. The python slithered towards them. When the python went to strike Dawn, Emperor killed it. Let's go find your parents, said Emperor. You know you are pretty cool, said Dawn, rubbing against the wolf. Emperor smiled. Thanks. Were you really going to eat me? Of course not. You're just fur and bones. No offense, just stating facts. Besides, I want to be different from the rest of wolves. I think my parents would love you 
and you all would be friends. Emperor shook his head. That would never happen. We will never get along. We will always be enemies. Why do you say that? What's the reason for not getting along and being enemies? You wouldn't understand. You are just a cub. Emperor sighs. We wolves take meals from the bears, and sometimes we even hunt bears. But it's not purposely done. It's about survival. Bears do it to us too. Oh, that's mean and sad. Well, I want to apologize to you on behalf of my relatives and ancestors. That's not for you to do, but I accept your apology. While walking through the jungle, a hunter started shooting at the wolf. Run, yelled Emperor. They ran as fast as they could to get away from the hunter, but they were more hunters. The cub safely got away, but Emperor was badly hurt. You're bleeding really badly, said Dawn, teary-eyed. I got grazed by the bullets, but I'll be fine. Are you sure? You don't look fine. Emperor howled so that his pack would know that he might be in danger. I'm fine. Let's keep going. We're not too far from your parents. Dawn crying. It's my fault that you were hurt. No, it's not. Yes, it is. If you had left me where you found me, you wouldn't have gotten hurt. If I had left you where I found you, you would have been lunch. I'm a wild animal. I'm accustomed to getting hurt. As the rain poured, Emperor saw a cave and sheltered from the rain because he didn't want Dawn to get sick. We don't have to shelter. I like the rain. That's great, but I will not take you back to your parents sick. Emperor, I heard a noise. I think there is something in this cave, whispered Dawn, scared. Suddenly, four foxes appeared. Don't worry, Emperor. I'll protect you, said Dawn, as he let out a soft roar. The foxes laughed. Terra, the leader of the skulk, asked, Emperor, who is your friend and what happened to you? His name is Dawn. He lost track of his parents, so I'm taking him back to them. I got into a fight with Rebel, the lion. Then, the hunters were shooting at us. I got grazed by bullets. I see you are still a good fella. I try my best not to be like the rest. You will never be like them. Let me fix up your wounds for you. How do you all know each other? Dawn asked curiously. Emperor saved my life. Really? Wow. Emperor sighs. I did some harsh things that I regret and I promised myself that I will change, but it's hard. If my pack senses weakness, they will try to take me out. I don't think any of them would want to battle with you. Since you are hurt, it would be best if me and my sulk came along, said Terra, the fox, being concerned. Thanks, but that won't be necessary. My pack is on their way. See you all around. Anytime. Bye, Dawn. Nice meeting you. Hope to see you again sometime. Nice meeting you too. Bye. When Emperor and Dawn got close to the bear's home range, the bears appeared out of nowhere and surrounded the wolf. Don yelled, Wait! Please don't hurt my friend. He protected me and brought me home because I couldn't find my way back. Is that true? Fierce, the mama bear asked. Before Emperor could reply, eight wolves from his pack appeared and attacked the bears. Stop!
Emperor yelled as the bears and wolves fought. Dawn released a big roar which got the bears and wolves' attention. All of them were shocked to see such a little cub with a big roar. Dawn shouted, I know you all may be enemies, but I want you all to get along, at least for me, which means no more taking each other's food or hunting each other. Emperor saved my life from a python a lion, and he even got him grazed by bullets from the hunters just to protect me. I couldn't survive out there without him. Show him some respect, and I would like you wolves to do the same to my sleuth. Thank you for protecting our cub, said Fierce, grateful. Emperor smirked. If I had to, I would do it all again. You all have a pretty cool cub who will grow up to be an amazing bear. Thanks again. Anytime you all want to visit, you all are welcome. I think it is time that we stop being enemies and try to be friends. A wolf named Damage, who is jealous of Emperor, yelled, we can never be friends with bears. They will always be enemies. You don't deserve to be the leader of our pack because your act of kindness shows us you're weak. A leader cannot be weak. If you think I'm weak, step to me and get beat, said Emperor aggressively. When damage the wolf, stepped to Emperor, so did the bears and the other seven wolves in the pack, which made damage back down. This isn't over. I will be back, said Damage, as he ran off into the woods. Emperor said, thanks, and anytime you all want to visit, you all are welcome. Take care. So we meet up again. Dawn rubs up against Emperor, then he and his sleuth disappeared into the woods. Arena, the female wolf said, I can't believe damage turned on you. What will you do if he comes back? Only time will tell, said Emperor. Arena smirked. We all know he can't defeat you, anyhow. The end.